Welcome to the Whiskey Creek Railway and my car and train channel. As a follow-up of the previous video, we have rebuilt the inside wall of the terrace here. So that's where we are going to accommodate the steel bridge. But for this update, I want to show you what we have done. It's mostly so we have dug the tranchée and we have put the drain pipe 4 inch in diameter with the sleeve. Drainage is very likely the most important thing that I can do to my track bed. Hold on. I am working and as you can see, it's a little bit damp here. The reason why is that uh, it's far from the, the cliff and the drainage is critical. So here we have the silver mine track which is arriving from the left and for those who are familiar you can see over there there is the, the diamond crossing and then after the bridge and that's the end of the track. I still don't know what I'm going to do so that second path was there I think I may do because I, ha I have this uh, project to build an incline to go down all the way to the Whiskey Creek Railway. So I need to be able to drain very well that other section. So just in case, either it's going to be a walkway or perhaps uh, a train track uh, for the incline with special rail cars that are going to be there. But nonetheless, as I was explaining, I need to be able to drain. So we did the tranchée. We are putting the pipe. And excuse me, I am a little bit out of breath. But with the laser, I am checking that the pipe is going downhill all the way to the edge, which is the case. So again, that's the foundation of my train track, I would say, drainage. And I encourage any of you guys building train tracks outdoor to work a lot on the drainage. And I am in a very good condition because look, I am on the side of a hill so a hundred feet, let's say even two hundred feet below, there is a creek. But for those who have flat terrains, it's very important to drain. Because you don't want your track to be muddy. So it looks a little bit like a mess right now. That's normal, you know, it's a construction site. But at the end, when I see the work that I have done with the track going into the silver mine, I am so happy because even when it's raining a lot, within a day, it's dry. Let's walk so that I can illustrate. And there is a little bit of wood everywhere because we have been digging. But I am speaking about this track going inside. It's always very dry and that used to be a swamp here. So you need to put the effort, you know. It's not about laying track, it's about laying track properly. So here under the, the rails I have the 4 inch corrugated pipe going long way like that. Sorry to move the camera. And then I've dug underneath and I have the other one 
going at 45 degree angle. And here, through the gravels, the humidity is going to connect, collect, connect, excuse me, connect, and being collected, and go the other way. So, I'm going to have now two access points towards drainage. The left side going straight to the wall and then the right side going to the diamond crossing and then again to the wall and going to the cliff. So that's going to uh, improve the drainage. So we are in October 2024. This is my update about the silver mine. If you have any questions, please ask them through the comment section below the video. Thank you very much for watching.